Good morning, everybody. It is the last day, day 21 of this 21 day cruise. We are at our last port in Alicante, Spain, and I'm gonna bring you guys along on the last port and the last night of this cruise. Mm, it's definitely gonna be a bittersweet day, but I'm really excited for what we're doing off the ship, and then the last night of the ship is always a good time. So I'm just gonna bring you guys along on a little bit of a last sea day because we kind of get on the ship earlier and we leave earlier heading for Barcelona. So we kind of do have that afternoon and night chunk on the ship and then we're getting off in the morning so i'm gonna bring you guys along today on the last day okay so i just got all dressed and ready to go here's what i'm wearing these earrings are from cotton on I actually bought them when we were in south africa at the little mall that we walked through this top is from vici these jeans are levi's and then i've got these cute little steve madden platforms i think they're so adorable and we are getting ready to get off the ship let me tell you what we're about to go do so if you've been here for any amount of time you know that in the summer of 2019 I lived in Belgium and I was an au pair so I had a host family and kids that I watched. You guys, they're in Spain. They just happened to be here at the same exact time my host mom saw my schedule when I posted it on my Instagram. She said, no way. Tell me exactly what day that you're in Alicante. She said, we're gonna be an hour from there. Let us come drive to meet you and hang out with you for the day. My heart just about burst into a million pieces. Y'all know I love these kids with my whole heart and I haven't seen them since the summer of 2022. So it's been a little bit and I'm so excited because they're just growing up right in front of me. Of course, we stay in contact and all of that, but this is just gonna be so nice to see them in person and of course have Austin meet them. So I felt like I had to dress super cute for the occasion because I haven't seen these kiddos in almost two years and I can't stop smiling. Like my cheeks hurt this morning from smiling so much. So we're gonna be getting off the ship and meeting my host mom and the kids. I don't know how much I'm gonna be filming. I wanna respect their privacy. I don't think I'm gonna shove cameras in their faces, but we're definitely gonna have to have a little hello on the camera. So that is what we are doing for our day in Alicante, Spain. We're gonna grab some breakfast with them and then maybe do like a little activity after. I'm so, 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 so excited. My heart is just gonna ah, burst into a million pieces as soon as I get those kiddos in my arms. So here's the look and we're gonna head to the gangway to get off the ship and meet my little family. All, all right, our last time in port off the ship. And here we are. So we're walking to go meet my host mom and a little kiddos. There is a 15 minute walk to this hotel we're meeting them at. There's a nice little pathway from the port. This one definitely sees a lot more tourists than many of the ports that we have been at already this trip. So this is just like a perfect little walkway into the city. The walkway opens up to this little bridge up top where you can see a lot of the city. This is fun. This is also the same little walkway we were on from the port. So if you are walking from the port, you got plenty of options to see some things before you even get into the city. We're at a cute little cafe. I got this croissant and a cappuccino. I'm hanging with my little. <laughs> play volleyball on the beach because we are now sitting at another little cafe right on the beach having a water cook zero for the kids Bye! and now we're back on the dawn to get on one more time before we have to disembark the ship tomorrow it's so sad and the lines are so long because we're definitely cutting it close to all aboard time but I just love this ship so much Okay, so it's been a second. We're back on the ship and I have been doing some last little bit of content, making sure that I've kind of been getting everything that I want to get for reels and images and things like that before we are off the ship tomorrow. It was literally the most wonderful time getting to see my host mom and my little kiddos for a little bit. We hung out for a few hours. We got some food, we got some drinks. We just enjoyed each other's company and talking. And seriously, it filled my cup so much. It was the best thing ever, especially because they're leaving Spain tomorrow and obviously we're getting into Barcelona 
London tomorrow and then leaving the next day so just seriously it was perfect like god timing to be able to see them and truly 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 made my whole day but lucky for me I was smart and I started the packing process yesterday so we actually don't really have much to pack tonight because we do have to have all of our suitcases out in the hallway by 11 p.m. tonight but that's gonna be a later tonight problem and for now I'm going to go take one last relaxation bit in the thermal spa and just sit there and read my book and watch us sail away for the last time it's bittersweet but you know what I'm gonna take advantage of every second that we have on this ship get some more content hang out a little bit more pack up the rest of our stuff tonight and then see what else we want to do on our last night on this ship it will be an early morning tomorrow so I think it'll be an earlier night tonight but who knows I guess we'll see where it takes us so let's head over to the thermal spa to go relax there we are in the thermal spa I don't know if I've ever actually vlogged in here but we've got two different jacuzzis this pool regular seating chairs and then the ones on the glass are the heated chairs which is of course what we are headed to quite a good time sitting in the heated chair and reading my book but I am a little hungry I think I'm gonna go get some chocolates from downstairs and then head back to the room and kind of see what we're gonna do for dinner uh, but this was just a lovely way to end the afternoon and seriously one of my favorite parts about having a thermal spa pass so the Java cafe that serves Starbucks has sweet treats so I got a couple macaroons and then there's some chocolates down there that I picked up and I'm gonna bring these back to the stateroom I'm gonna try one of these chocolates. This is the coconut one. Mm. Thank goodness I'm only trying this on the last day because this would have been dangerous knowledge. Mm. I decided I'm gonna read a little bit more of my book on the balcony, look at the ocean from this view, and just enjoy the afternoon out here. my reaction to the end of Nightingale. I just finished The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I was just crying, crying, crying in my bed. Wow, what an amazing book. And now we just got ready for dinner. We're doing One Last Night in Aqua, which is one of the main dining rooms that's complimentary. I'm gonna show you guys my dress really quick. And then after dinner, we're probably gonna have to come back and pack up all the rest of these clothes. But that's a problem for later because our bags don't have to be out till 11 and it's 7.30. So let me show you my outfit. Here's the dress. I got it in an H&M, I think in Europe somewhere. I'm not 110% sure. It's just this blue midi dress. I've got these same little heeled sandals on from Dolce Vita that I love and that they do not make anymore. I'm so sad about that because honestly I need a new pair. Anyway, same earrings as earlier and I just want to show you the back it crosses in the back and it's open and it's gorgeous so we are going to head to dinner and I'll bring you guys along to see what's on the menu for the final night the last dinner menu at aqua here's what we got going on oh my goodness a french onion soup I think I'm gonna have to do it one last time classic entrees these are always here here are the featured entrees oh my gosh yum you can always order something from Cagney's. And then of course, their wine recommendations. But there's our menu. This is what Aqua looks like from the inside if I've never showed it. This one is more restaurant style, whereas Venetian, the other complimentary dining is like big dining. Oh, hello. <laughs> Starting off with the potato and leek soup. It honestly just sounded so warm and comforting. I don't know what it is about a soup on a cruise, but I have been having so much soup on this cruise and everyone is so good. So here's this potato and leek, which we haven't had yet this trip. Look at how delicious this grilled chicken looks. It's got mushrooms on top, some potatoes over here, and some green beans. Oh, what a good last meal. Now we just gotta pray that there's a good last dessert on the dessert menu. Cheers. Mm. I'm gonna try these potatoes. Ben, try this. Can you tell I loved it? <laughs> Seriously. I had to share some of the potatoes with Austin because it was so good. I made him take some on his plate, but it was delicious. When you see something like this, 
vanilla floating island. You just gotta try it. That's the only thing I really think I need to try on this menu, so we're going for it. Here is the vanilla floating island. I have no idea what it is. This looks like maybe, oh, maybe it's meringue in a vanilla sauce. Okay, let's try my vanilla floating island together. It looks like vanilla sauce and some sort of meringue. <laughs> wow, it's delicious, but it's pure sugar. Like whatever this vanilla sauce is, it's good, but I don't have that much of a sweet tooth. <laughs> Worth a try. Honestly, I also prefer something chocolate, and I also had this chocolate truffles earlier, so probably deserted out, but I prefer chocolate, but this sounded just so interesting, but way too sweet for me personally. Our steward, Rogelio, who's so wonderful, was very quick to get our bags and bring them out. But alas, I still have one little bag that we're keeping in here. If you've never been on a cruise, what you have to do the night before is if you want your bags off the port, which I don't recommend like carrying all of your bags down, you leave them outside of your room by 11 p.m. at night. They were really pushing for 10 p.m. tonight, which is why I came back to sort of get everything ready to go. But we always leave out one little bag for like your bathroom stuff in the morning, your overnight stuff, anything to put in here. So I've kept that. We actually have both of our personal travel backpacks and I did keep this bag which we really have mostly dirty clothes in and the bag of sunscreen but just in case we find some piece of clothing or a bunch of things I don't know hidden in some corner at least we know that we have bag space so this is how I'm leaving it for now going to enjoy the rest of the night with some of the friends that we've made down in the casino which I can't film down there but I will film on my phone in case there's anything I am allowed to film uh, but this is how we're sort of leaving it we're gonna wake up tomorrow and just do the last minute things we have things charging over here obviously bathroom stuff like these are the shoes I'm wearing tomorrow so don't mind that but basically everything is put together and ready to go for us to disembark in the morning it's very bittersweet and I've already cried twice about it just thinking about how over the past three weeks 21 days it actually is a long time and these crew members become part of your family and you just feel so connected to them and truly unless you're coming on this ship within the next like two weeks or a month or two like your favorite crew members could be gone and you may never see them again you never know what ship they're gonna go to what routes if you're ever gonna be on there so it's definitely bittersweet and especially like the people that you meet of course you can meet up with any friends that you make on a cruise that is a lot more easier than meeting up with the crew so it's just definitely a sad night Night, especially after really getting to know one another. If you feel like your seven day cruise is personal with the crew members, imagine three times that in a row. It's seriously oh, just one of those feelings where I feel so grateful that I am in this cruise community and that I've been cruising for so long, literally since I was a wee little girl. 2001, I think was my first official cruise. Although I did cruise in my mother's womb in the very beginning, but all of that to say, I just love it. And I love this Norwegian family and I'm not paid to say that. I just seriously love them. I've been cruising with them. You guys know this is a bittersweet because this Dawn is actually the first ship I've ever sailed on of Norwegian in 2009 was our first Norwegian experience so truly I'm just so grateful and I'm just feeling all mushy up inside so I'll stop talking and I'll stop being mushy gushy but I just absolutely love it if you've never cruised before please take this as your sign to try it out because I promise you it'll change your life let's just say it was a very successful night in the casino and then after when we went to go tally up our bill and make sure everything was okay Austin's AirPod case which has been missing for almost almost two weeks now. We found it at the Lost and Found. We had asked originally like four days after he lost them. And the girl could not find them. And then tonight, the guy was like, oh yeah, they've been here since the 27th. Like it's the 9th. Are you kidding me? But it's okay. Like we've been switching off on his AirPods charging my case and everything. But just the fact that there was a casino win, that the AirPods case was found, our bills all settled and we're all good. <sighs> There's just something very successful about tonight. And this is it. The last night, night 21 of our 21 day cruise. In some ways, it seems like we have been on here for 21 days and in others it's felt like a week and it has flown by like I was saying earlier just truly 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 love everyone on this ship love the crew if you have a chance to ever sail on a cruise ship or of course Norwegian because you guys know that I love them do it please do it I promise you I promise you I promise you you're gonna love it but anyway we are signing off getting ready to have a day in Barcelona tomorrow not sure if there's gonna be a vlog on that or not because honestly our plans have all kind of crashed and burned as of today so I'm not sure we have so much going on in Barcelona so this is the sign off from my 21 day Africa cruise. I love you guys so much. Thanks for sticking with me on this trip. I can't wait to bring you guys more travels and more lifestyle once we're back in Tampa. I love you guys so much. If nobody has told you today, I am so proud of you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.